Oh, my dear friends, friends who likes English, insects who likes butterflies, and friends who do not like insects, who do not like butterflies and moths and beetles. All of you just can be interested in insects who is living inside your house, inside your kitchen, inside your bathroom, the toilet or balcony, because you are coexisting together with insects in your house. You are not alone. And you definitely know about it. If you hate insects, you are irritated by each small fly in your house. So today we'll be talking about insects living in your kitchen. And why I'm talking about it? Because I'm making this stream from Ukraine. And Ukraine is the present moment in the war. So, you know, you have in the kitchen some food for a certain period of time, but some people say, if war is coming, so you need to prepare to it. So that's why during all this period of time, during already the year which was passed in Ukraine, we have a war and it's strange time we are fighting against federation of strange neighbors on the east so far. So and hopefully successfully and we are praying for the success of our militaries and our army but i wanted to tell you if war is coming you need to be prepared at home with your food yes that's why some people who are living in front line and are not in a front line i am in a Kiev, which is slightly far away from a front line for this time and we have electricity fortunately for today it was uh, some breaks of electricity. We need to have a little bit stock of different food. And maybe you are not living in near front line. Maybe you are living in a very safe place somewhere in Ohio or somewhere in Nebraska or just in a Nevada or maybe near Los Angeles. Why not? So in some cases, people do like to have some stock of food. It's quite easy to go to a supermarket to buy food and keep it in a stock in the kitchen or in somewhere in a safe place. But what's happening with your food if you're keeping it for a long time? Like now I'm in Ukraine for one year of year of war without jokes. And we have just sentence if war is coming, you need to prepare dry bread, right? What did I do in the first week? I prepared my bread, my bread in a such a glass which is not empty but it's sealed with a plastic lid and it's prepared for the war okay for a short time you can prepare just some dry bread in a small can it's easier to take it off and of course it's dry more or less safe again against of moisture and sometimes in february last february it was quite strange time it was very noisy because of shelling bombing of kiev and other cities of ukraine as well unfortunately it was terrible time so some stock of food stock of bread and glasses was quite useful but it was going later with the food here inside your stock something strange can happen oh, okay of course i have a different food maybe you know just some countries helping us, United States and United Kingdom are helping us with military equipment. And many countries like Germany helping us with food like this. Schaffer Flocken, Schaffer Flocken, yes, came from Germany. Thank you to Germany. Deutschland, just very good oak, oak cereals. And pretty good, well packed. Well, all right. Here yeah, I have just a kind of mute today. Kind of muesli also is packed in such a good plastic. Also, just a food for what time. And definitely, I came to the shop with different cakes sealed. It's already Ukrainian producer. Sealed one, some sweet, some salted. These are sweet, these are salted. Well packed, well sealed. Fortunately, it's a good for. For food pretty tasty and good for protection well sealed packages 
with all this food. What else? Okay. Okay, some another cakes, which are well protected against some pests. And of course, you can go to the shop and buy some, some nuts, some sunflower seeds, still, okay, some arachis nuts. Yes, maybe something else. Good. Okay, like some raisins, some raisins, some dried phoenix, dried fruit. Also, we need to, to have it. It was very helpful in the last March and February during the shelling and bombing of Kiev. Unfortunately, we pushed them very much out from Kiev far away, these bloody neighbors, Russian Federation. Let's keep them. But what's going with your food if you're keeping it for, for a long time and maybe not in such a well packed packages? At once I bought. In such kind of box, I will not show you producer, but you see the boxes like this. And all oat cereals were here without any ceiling, without any plastic. Just pushed it inside. And at once, I tried to make a oat porridge, and I found something strange. I found beetles in my porridge, in my cooked porridge. I was very surprised. I was thinking, yes, I have seen already to you beetles on my table and I was very serious and worried about it where did they come from maybe they came from my job from my laboratory and then I found them in a porridge in a cooked porridge so I recognized yes I bought them I bought them together with a porridge but not with porridge with cereals with oat cereals in such not well packed package just you see carton package and with all cereals which here just inside without any protection so it was infested by beetles beetles very strange beetles so two beetles very strange and very dangerous beetle and i will show you them now because they're very small just two millimeter size very flattened you can squeeze everywhere just just in a small cracks in a small Small, tiny, open, open places. Because it, if it was just glued like this, still here a lot of spaces to go through. So we escaped from this package, strange one. So I do not appreciate anymore this type of packages for cereals, for any kind of food produced by any country. So this one produced in Germany. Hello to Germany. Well packed. And also for protection, I, you, if you have some kind of food, you need to put it in a freezer. If you didn't open it yet, put it in a freezer so all pests will die in a freezer under the minus 20 Celsius. So, so far, so good. Yes. So if you open it and you, if you didn't check it, some beetles which infested this cereal somewhere, maybe in a stock, maybe in a shop, maybe somewhere else, during all this transpiration, during all this traveling, 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 and then keeping somewhere in this shopping center for hour for months, maybe during this summer months, we have been infested, all these cereals. And I bought infested cereals, and I was not so lucky. So in all this kind of food, in all in open cages, even this even this nuts can be infested with beetles and with moth. I separated some pieces, some part of this cereals, this oat cereals here in this cage, in this glass, just for laboratory study. So here, full of cereals, flattened cereals, oat cereals, infested with sort of beetle, Orizophilus surinamensis, Orizophilus surinamensis, of a family silk, Silvanidae, Silvanidae, and we will check them on my video now. So be careful about your food, and we will be talking now just how to save this food safely for months if we have just a time of war. We need to do it. First of all, keep it in a well protected, just without cracks. If you open it, 
seal it with scotch or with any other material carefully to have it very well sealed by scotch food. Otherwise, insects will find it and will go through all these tiny, tiny cracks here inside. Small larvae of beetles can go very, very movable. They can squeeze inside or just larvae, very tiny caterpillars of moths we will squeeze inside. Even maybe sometimes can make a holes and squeeze inside and can infest every your flower or your cereals, wheat, oat, any kind of rice, any kind of food. So all these beetles will be very happy to live inside with this kind of food. Very tasty German, Germany, tasty food from Germany. Yes, yes, I have a book. I have a very good book, Irish Indoor Insects. So here, full of this book, full of different insects which are living in, in, in a house. And first of all, we will be talking about first beetle, which are very common in a kitchen. It's belonging to the family Anobide. Anobide beetles, we can infest even some of your furniture. Best way to identify insects, to bring insects in small sample, like in this sample. Put it inside this sample after the kids' food and bring this sample to the institute or to local university laboratory or entomologist. Sometimes some curious, curious citizens from Kiev they are coming to my laboratory with some funny samples and saying, these are living, these are tiny creatures are living in my house. I am very much irritated about them. So what's that? So I have just fun and curiosity to identify and make some advices. So you can find such a laboratory in your city, in your district and ask specialists about these beetles. So, so it's not, it's not pretty difficult to say it just from here to there, which insects are infested, your kitchen, your house, your balcony, your bathroom. But nevertheless, these insects are very, very common and very familiar for many countries because they have a global distribution. This kind of a globalization is very common for them. So let's start this video. And first, beetle is named, very funny, it's named biscuit beetle, biscuit beetle or drug store beetle on how many synonyms. So you can recognize, I will be reading about this beetle. Etiology. These beetles very fat, tiny, about two, four, four millimeters. It's very round and very, very the same family as the furniture beetles. Biscuit beetles all around the world. And they were uh, very common in North America as drugstore beetle because they can infest some drugs which are done from plants. So like uh, some poison with some poisonous substances like belladonna and aconite. So we can infest any plant material. They're breeding in, in every conceivable time of a vegetable and animal product, including the hottest spices like ch chili pepper. The infestation can happen in any locality because you can bring them from the house to house, or you can bring them from the shop inside your house. But in, even in the shop, in some stories, some part of insects were unaffected by some situation. And so we can be continuing to breed. And so some food can contain the larvae and adults of these beetles. So you can bring them from shop and you bring them to the, your house. Biscuit beetle is one of the commonest and most economically important pests that attacks stored products. And the diet includes different food like cereals, beverage concentrates, herbs, dog food, and cat's food for sure, animal food stuff, coca beans, spices, chili pepper, and different drugs from plants some herbariums, 
collections of insects are also in, in the needles. They're very fragile, so quite easy to be damaged, and you can kill them just, just by your finger, by your nail, easily. So that's why it's quite easy to identify them because they're very soft. The female is laying about 100 eggs, so you see the generation generation and they can penetrate any cracks wrapping the food with relative ease by making larvae making special holes in the food and then they just hatched adult of beetle just trying to escape from this food or from maybe food material and making special hole so can damage even some books some paper, cartoons, cardboards, wood, even just sheet, sheet leads. Similar species is the Lasioderma sericone, which is named tobacco beetle. So this beetle can eat also even tobacco. Or it's another species, which is very similar appearance, tobacco beetle Lasioderma sericone will eat your open tobacco or cigarettes as well. What's about another beetle? How to heal them? Just, you need to take your food. If it was just slightly infested, if you found some larvae inside, some damage inside, put it in a freezer. Put it in the freezer for minus 20 degree, not in a refrigerator, but on the part of with, low, with the lowest temperature, just where you have ice and keep them for two or three days. So all larvae and bees eggs will die under the temperature minus 20 Celsius degree. So definitely the larvae eggs and they'll survive. Even you can put in your freezer part of your cock or your collection of with insects in plastic boxes infested with some beetle, put it in the freezer. And here you see Bean beetles, which is Latin name Acanthus celidus fasciolus, Aptectus, which is and can infest different kind of fasciolus of be beans. So there are a lot of holes in beans because adults just hatching from beans, damaging it, and all just chemical materials and some skins, some shells will be inside beans. So that's why infested beans are not suitable for food for humans and highly infested beans are not suitable even for animals, for home pets. No, no, better don't use these infested and damaged beans for your, uh, for your beloved pets. Better to throw it away. Or if you have just very small infestation, just few beans, so you're infested. So check it, put it in the water and some beans with holes will just be flowing on the water so you can throw them away or again put your beans inside freezer these beetles they're considered to be semi-tropical and tropical so they are not surviving under the low temperature they will die very easily for one two days they will survive in a freezer for more than a few hours they die instantly but they are the commonest, so you can buy them in a flea market, in a local market. You can bring them with beans from the food, from the shop, with infested beans. In the shop, if it was just fumigated, still maybe some larvae can survive inside beans, and you can bring them and they hatch and it will infest your food inside your store, inside your kitchen. So, but as I to was talking about, very dangerous beetles in my cereals which i was which i am keeping here in this, in this yes in this jar yes a tiny very tiny beetles size about two millimeters are named sawtooth beetles or isophilus surinamensis dangerous beetles which was collected in suriname 
about 200 years ago, he described by Linnaeus. So he became famous as a Suriname beetle. But originally now, it was described from Suriname now spread globally all around the world. Not only in Suriname, everywhere in the world. Belonging to the family Ilvanidae, which is called sawtooth rain beetle. Two species are known Sorisophilus Mercarisophilus surinamensis. Because this beetle has a very special structure of thorax. Here you cannot see it, but on the big magnification under the microscope, this beetle looks very strange. Size about two, three millimeters, like a soft size, like a sharp teeth or, or so. They're very common in both temp warm temperate, warm areas and a temperate areas of the world. It's serious pest of storage products as a, of, of vegetable origin, including cereals, rice, wheat, barley, mice and other products like bread, pasta, infestation of dry fruits, like a currants, raisins, sultans, are very, very common. So it's quite difficult to, to kill these beetles because they very, very, have a very hard surface, very hard body identified instead of the first one which are very and even even just a little bit smell but there are also mealworm but they're bigger than this one in two or three times so this one is very small two or three millimeters size very very small very small size enables them to hide in crevices, inaccessible to spray and fumigant. So they will survive even inside packaged packages which were fumigated. If they left unchecked, this species can spread throughout the grocery store and cause a really serious damage of different different products of, of vegetable origin. And in houses, the specimens can be brought indoors in contaminants of purchased goods. It's a, uh, they are serious pests of farm storage rain, which also may become moldy and sprout. And what's, what's about next, be another next pests in your kitchen. These are different moths. Together with larvae of moths, together with small caterpillars, or just together, if you put here some wheat infested by two different pests. One is weasel, beetle, and you see here small moths. Small moths are crawling around, and these are moths are named Indian mealworm. Indian mealworm, it's not from India. It's, it's just from your country. It just firstly was found in India. But now it has just a scientific name, Indian mealworm. Latin name Plodia interpunctale, Plodia interpunctale. Four wings of this adult is a reddish yellow and then half and it can be varying in colors. So you can identify that, in, that this moth will not eat your clothes, will not feed on your woods, wools, woolen clothes. But you see, the color is different. Pests of your clothes are in yellow color, but this one has a reddish brown half of four wings. You see, half is just a silver color and half is just brownish, brownish color. This species attacks a var wide variety of food stuff particular woes of a vegetable origin. It's this di the diet of this moth, or more precisely caterpillar of this moth, includes storage rain and its product, dried fruits, dried nuts, 
as well as oil, soya beans, cocoa beans, chocolate, even chocolate, spices, pepper, pulses, even, even some drugs of vegetable origin, plants origin. Larva can survive on any dry manufactured product. And the different which I described. It's going to be growing. It's become fully grown from two weeks up to two years, depending from the temperature. And it's full in the food stuff with frost, some damaged pieces of food and excrements and silk and web, which is it spins. So it will be very visible that food is infested because some some web will be inside the food between seeds or just some pieces of food. And so also, also some caterpillars can be found inside the food. And what you can do with this strange pest. Okay, okay. B the best way to feed some birds outside its street through the way all your infested food. Also in some cases, if you need some food just for your pets or for emergency cases just put all your infested food inside cereals inside refrigerator under minus 20 degree Any and adults will not survive under the minus 20 degree after two or three days of exposition inside refrigerator or you can make it twice put it inside for two days take it off it will be warming for half a day and put it again for second second exposition. Two days, two times exposition will be good enough to avoid infestation of your beloved cereals or your food cereals with this kind of protection or your bread inside your stock. So you see here. This bread, dry bread from it still, I am keeping here still from the last March when the war started and still it's here inside. Probably it's not so tasty now because bread is just damaged, not was not damaged by moths or any beet, beetles because lead is very good. So another way is just to put your food inside plastic containers or just glassy containers or like this kind of a plastic containers and food will be very well protected and the last but not the least beetle which i want to show which is quite really can be found in a video i never found it in, to be sure to be correct but i found this uh, as in laboratory can it, and also as I found it once in a village. This is a rice weasel. But in some in some countries, in some semi-tropical countries, these beetles are widely spread because as the name has rice weasel can damage different cereals, different products of barley, wheat, rice. And they and when they are hatching, they're spreading around, searching for new small seeds, new rices rice and can infest it or just dry bread. They can eat dry bread easily. I keep them in laboratory and I gave them some cakes. So cakes became empty because they just ate it easily. They are not reproducing so quickly on cakes, on dry cakes or dry bread, but they can eat it and reproduce better. Like here on this way, on seeds of wheat. Yes, like right here. This wheat was tested also this weasels, not only moths, not only Indian meal worm. These tiny moths, which are dangerous only for, for food material or veg, of vegetable origin, they're not eating your clothes. But still, be careful if you keep them in the kitchen. Better to find, to find infested food somewhere just in, just in an angle of your 
on it somewhere on the shelves of your wardrobe in the kitchen somewhere in the box when open you can find open lid of some cages and this food inside your open cage became infested so be careful about it but if you put it in a plastic inside plastic or inside glass, glass jars your food can be very very safe for months maybe not for years because the quality of food will be damaged will be changed and will not be so tasty after one and two years but at least it will be safe against such kind of pests as beetles or end moths so that's why this bread was not infested okay so it's still good enough hopefully i will not use it i i will use it only for my beetles i have some jars at my laboratory smaller size where i keep some cultures of these beetles and these moths for laboratory use for rearing of this lovely parasitoids lovely calcid wasps which are parasitizing on these beetles but this is another story for next video and i have some cereals in some samples for laboratory study for laboratory culture keeping them as well for recording video so you understood the situation so that if you keep your material in either in a glass jars or in just in sealed plastic this is very safe for protection of your food if you have got infested as the food as just inside your open or correct packages put this package put this cage inside your refrigerator for two or three days and your pests just your occasionally yours pests will die after two or three days so and you will be lucky don't have them anymore so don't worry we are not coming to your house from neighbors like cockroaches you are you just occasionally you will just brought them either just on your clothes or just where are coming to your house to your kitchen to your balcony to your dining room through balcony through open window if you don't have a mesh on a window we are coming just themselves very easily in the summer in the springtime we can feel with the antenna very well they can feel it very well the smell of your beloved kitchen so we can smell food and it's quite obvious i did some experiments on my balcony i have seen how beetles and how parasitoids are coming through the open window just in a few seconds they're just coming like rockets no rockets like uh, bumblebees very tiny small wasps they're just coming and sitting on the, on some and some jars with food because they have recognized it easily so if you have some food open food in your kitchen and you open just a window be sure that some insects will come to your house through the window because they're flying not i'm not do not mean about just some this kind of termites termites will come just as under the ground so in southern place areas the ants can come as well but also some beetles can fly easily and some moths like indian meal mealworm can come very easily flying just from outside not only maybe from your neighbors as well if we have infested food in their kitchen from their kitchen they will come to your kitchen and from your kitchen to another neighbors so this is a way of spreading of this infestation of house beetles and house moths very easy so if someone has has been infested so this is infestation will spread everywhere around from one place to from one neighbor to another neighbor and so by and so forth so be careful about your food be careful about your neighbors and be careful about insects which can infest your food in your kitchen in your house so don't but don't worry about it if you have some problems you always have the opportunity to knock 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 to my channel and write message under the comment session under my video so you can ask me some advices what to do and what's that you can send my me video or you can send me just a photo or you can also send me some small donation for that 
or for just for curiosity to support my channel. I am really very much appreciate donations on my Patreon page, which is indicated link under this video, or just join membership of my channel as a research assistant or just assist a researcher as well. So thank you very much for coming. I hope it was funny and interesting for you to see tiny, tiny beetles on this very, very big size on a screen and to know a little bit more about them. If you have this or if you had this or another pest in your kitchen, in your house, and you have access to internet, just write your comments under this video. Which pests did you have in your kitchen or in your house? Are you afraid of them? How did you get rid of them? And don't worry about insects. They are not so dangerous. You always can find some consultant like me. I can consult you about the activities. Are they dangerous or they are not dangerous? Sometimes they are coming occasionally just from the window, as I said, but they are not dangerous. They are just coming and they are just dying because they have no food. So it depends from insects. Not all insects are dangerous and they, they can come to your house just like to refuge, just to escape from the window, from rain, from hot weather, just to have a rest and then they will have no food and will ju just die either on a balcony or inside your house or just under the inside the spider's nest, net somewhere in just an angle of your, in a corner of your house. So thank you for coming. Press like, write your comments, and you remember Ukraine is forever. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye. Subscribe to my Patreon page. Thank you for coming. Good luck and see you soon on my channel.